There are over 9,000 people in Toronto who are homeless on any given night. There are many reasons why people become homeless. Loss of employment, family breakup, family violence, mental illness, poor physical health, substance abuse, physical, sexual, or emotional abuse are just to name a few. red markers they're kind of leading you to these encampments here every time we start to follow these okay so we're like right on the trail now and here see some this was like another little setup small one here yeah you can see all the clearings that they have and the way it's set up they were all kind of camping in these little clearings like you see there's no, no fallout, no, no sticks, no debris, nothing. They've cleared these out so they could camp on the flat ground. Got some fencing over there they must have been using prior to block people out. <coughs> Toothbrush. of Tim Horton's cups along with the red clothing articles all through the bush that are leading you to different encampments. See. And as you follow these cups typically you come we found a bunch of these holes that seem to be dug out. You can see all the stuff that was dug out there. Looks like they were probably having fires in these pits. following those cups or the red articles of clothing. Yo, yo. clearing another encampment this ain't a big one but you can see people were staying here so every time when you follow those cups of the clothing so far it has led you to something like this that's what i was saying there's buckets all along i wonder what's in them sticks for firewood sticks in this one anyway Looks like this is where they've created a spot to cross to get back over to the mainland because we're actually on the other side of this river and where we came from is actually on the other side way over there. So it looks like the homeless people probably come in from over there back to the where the compound was over there. Then over here they have like a clearing spot up through there. That's probably their summer location. And then down here on the water probably uh, another part of their summer location here.
What's in the bucket? I don't know. Look at this, see? Is that what that is? Yeah. But there's buckets, there's buckets there, a bucket over on the inside. Looks like a fucking noose also. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they come out like Lord of the Flies. Yeah, right. You've been fucking you've been judged. Yeah? Yeah, they're being locked the whole time. You've been judged and sentenced to death. To the hanging tree. Fuck, on the other side too, eh? Yeah. See over there. There's another encampment over there. through there you can see there's people clothes hanging up over there and shit chairs coolers living la vida loca this is obviously a living compound here Interesting. Interesting state of affairs that we have going on in the world today. So this is compound number two that we have found and you'll see remember I was saying they had these buckets hanging up on trees which seem to be markers for people to know they're here there's another red piece of clothing on the ground so they're leaving these things around for people to find them it's a hard at the laborers are in Number two, tracking the tent cities. Like yeah, unfortunately, it looks like somebody's uh, living in this arrangement. Pretty shitty situation for sure. Got a hard hat over there for the labor's union. So who knows if that's where they work or if that's just some, some junk they came across. We got these big mounds at each site we've came across too, which probably could be garbage or something of the sort. Uh, who the fuck knows? Food? Quick oats. And then all the empty cans. Food in here. Here we are tracking the tent cities. Yeah, see, so he probably does work at the laborers union because he's got his tools over here. It's fucked up. Yeah, see? Crazy. Tracking the tent cities. Welcome to China. Those are jail boxer shorts so whoever's staying here been to the big house the slammer the clinker <laughs> those are jail boxer shorts interesting 2023
a so year ago. Obviously, the homeless here got served with this notice to get the fuck out of here. No person shall loiter or cause a disturbance or public nuisance upon or within a public place within the town of Newmarket. Access or occupy a park for recreational use, dwell, camp, or lodge in a park. Place, install, or erect a tent or structure in a park. Where did it say the date on here? Oh, November 14th. So not that long ago, November 14th. Yeah, that's what I said, like a year ago. No, no, a few months, brother. November. Oh, 2023, yeah. Yeah. So they just got served this uh, two months ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amateurs, yeah, amateur hour over here. At the, this is the amateur encampment. They don't know what they're doing. As we're walking through here, through the woods, you can see these little clearing areas, and these all appear to be where people were camping. You can see like fire remnants all over the place. This is blocked up here. All through there, the bushes are tied up. Like you'll see back here. They've tied up these bushes to create a trail back to their encampment where we just came from back there. Crazy. Tough times ahead. So we're heading towards another compound and it seems that as you're coming through the forest here they have these little markers to kind of let each other know there's a compound here and you can see right here there's a marker yeah there's the compound and the compound is going to be directly through there i think so we're going to make our way over there right now more people were staying here they got lines looks like there's another red bag marker over there on the tree right there so they're obviously marking these places for people to know they're here if you look here there's another red marker there and then back here by the tree over here there's another red sweater hanging so they're obviously leaving these red things around for people to come find the trail to the to the homeless compound. Sad state of affairs. What's going on this day and age? On the trail back here, they've cleared out quite a bit of shit to create this trail to go back there. There was quite a bit of furniture and garbage. Don't take long for humans to create a mass of fucking junk. So as you go over this river, which we'll have to go up the tracks and over, yeah. and then when you come around here, down around that corner, there's another compound over there with clothes hanging, coolers and everything. So we're gonna go up and around and go over that way and check it out. Tent City. It's kind of fucking sad. Right there. Look at its foot. Yeah. Peace, little guy.
What's with these purple fucking rail things? LGBT support? You know? Something big was running in here though. That's what I mean, but like, there's nobody here. It's not somebody's dog. There's the tracks. Well, it, so now the hockey nets are here. But the car is this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I know the car is that way. Part of the marker. Yeah, the car yeah. there. Because there's the light post. Yeah. We just wanted to borrow some brown sugar. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Anybody home? Hello, Lucy. Honey, I'm home. Just here to book some studio time at the sanctuary. We got dollars. Hello. Because I got my camera in one hand. Oh, it's just a shitload of junk. They thought that was precious to keep. Yeah. Oh, hey, that yeah, M&M's, too bad. What a fucking dump. This is a fucking dump. Disgusting. Filthy. This is what society has come to. Fucking filth. You want to move in there, brother? Yeah, she's almost moving ready. All right. Fuck, you give me a good 700 a month here, brother. Did you include you're, it? <laughs> you're, on a, a good, you're on a good one acre. You're on a good one acre here. Okay? One third, one third utility. Yeah. Don't worry about it. utilities, I got you. I got you. Air it's covered. Air conditioning's free in the summer. <laughs> it's covered. Bring it back out to the civilization.
like the yellow brick road. Follow those cups, follow the red markers. Gonna take us home. Yeah, so anything red, we follow on this trail and it seems to be either leading us to a compound or a trail around the waters uh, through this bush. So, oh, here we have another little one up here. Careful. Oh yeah, these guys were busy. So there's a chair over there. Yeah, look up. That's the way we gotta go. Also a white marker there. Yep. That's why we just gotta keep walking along the outside of this. And we'll be good. Yeah, there's the other little setup here. Bags. Yeah, well, no, ma no matter what, we'll come by the train tracks and be able to get over it. No, no, they run the whole way. Yeah, we're walking the same. We're walking the same way as the tracks right now. No, the tracks over here. Over here, man. Young Street this way. <laughs> all I know, I used to walk all this stuff runs right along the train track, all these power lines. We're not either way they come from in and out. You know? 